I'm going to be reviewing Grainsmith Golden Lining Ale. It says it's a craft beer with premium quality and 4.9% alcohol. A crisp golden beer with balanced cascade hops and caramel and honey malts. Ooh, is this going to be a sweet one? Let's put it in the glass and find out. Busted out my new opener. The old one just uh, lived a good long life, opened a lot of bottles. It's time for some new blood. Got a nice color coming out. Hmm. It does have a hint of sweetness to it. Beautiful color. Nice golden color. Hmm. It's a little off white. It's masking the aroma right now. But I know, at least I'm hoping, that this has got some really excellent flavor because it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice ice cold. It's crisp. It's got that carbonation bite on my tongue. It kind of wakes me up and says, hey, hey, you're getting ready to taste something nice. It's got a nice beer flavor. Um, and the after uh, the after taste, uh, I'm getting a little bit of the sweetness, like the honey and, and the caramel. It, it's there. It's very subtle. It's not going to jump out at you. But however, with a lot of these beers like that, you know, that's the first sip I've had. So my throat, everything's not coated yet. I need to... I need to drink a little bit more of this so that the, the aroma and the flavors get a little bit more pronounced. So, cheers again. Mm. This is a great tasting beer. It's not heavy on the flavor, but it's not light either. It's, it's a nice middle ground of of beer flavor and like I say that that sweetness on the back end is not I mean it's subtle it's very subtle so nobody's gonna drink this and say oh this is a, a sweet beer it's not a sweet beer not getting any you know fruit flavors anything like that off of it this tastes like beer and I like it It's like the perfect amount of carbonation. You know, I poured it hard. It's an ale. People can say it's not meant to be poured that way. But you know what? Look at this head. I've been on camera for like three minutes. And it's, you know, it's, it's thinned out. It's melted. It's gone. Um, but the flavor is great. The look is great. That's got a really nice, you know, I just, those beers that are kind of disappointing to look at. When you pour it in the glass and, and you hold it up and it's it's just such a pale yellow. I mean, it's, it's not really attractive to look at. It's just, you can tell by looking, it's a very minimal, it's a minimal beer. If it's got minimal color like that, it's going to be minimal flavor. This beer, on the other hand, has got a nice golden honey color to it, which is more attractive to look at, and it's got more flavor than, you know, standard light beers. But the flavor is not so overwhelming that if you're a light beer drinker and you try this, that you would be turned off. On the contrary, I think that any light beer that would try this it's Grainsmith Golden Lining Ale. 4.9% alcohol. And where is this made? Brewed and bottled in Central Virginia Brewing Company, Crozet, Virginia. So, why did 
does that sound familiar to me? It's a great flavor. It's a great flavor. Um, I think, I say, I, I believe this one came from Lidl, and the reason why I point out uh, when I buy a beer from Aldi or Lidl is because I've been in there and I've seen beers that I've never seen anywhere else. So I don't know if they have like a an agreement between certain beer companies that their products will be sold in Aldi's and Lidl. I don't know, but I've never I've never seen the beers offered there you know anywhere else. And I'm talking about these these preferences because they don't have a, a big beer selection in either of those stores. I don't look. I didn't even pay attention to if they have the standards, you know, the Budweisers and the Millers. I didn't even look to see if they had those. My eyes go straight for the beers I've never seen before, and I, you know, I go to usually buy my beers at a liquor store or at Total Wine, which is like the Walmart of alcohol. I mean, they got everything. And I've just never seen the beers that they offer there. So, you know, I don't know if, if it's true that they're exclusively available in those stores. I just like to point out that that's where I got it. And, you know, I know I've, I've seen all these all over the place. I just never really went in one before. And when I did, it's a much smaller store. They don't have all the selection. So I just figured it would be easy to go through what they had. So bought it. And a lot of their stuff is very impressive. It's cheap in price, it's great in flavor, and it's got a nice alcohol content, so it's a good buy. So I'm going to sign off from this one. I'm going to give this a thumbs up from the Grainsmith Golden Lining Ale from, what does it say, Crozet? Yeah, Crozet, Virginia. So if you happen to have a Lidl next to you, stop in and give them a try. It'll be worth your time. Till next time.